So today we are going to be making these cute little reindeer candy cane ornaments. I am using a number four worsted weight yarn and it is Bernat Premium. We're going to need a couple of little eyeballs, a little pom-pom for the nose, a couple of candy canes and the candy canes I'm using today are about five inches so they're a medium candy cane if you are using the longer regular candy canes you may have to add a couple extra rows to this we got our darning needle we've got scissors and a number five H hook to get started you're gonna need to do a little ring you can either make a magic ring you can do your chain twos and go into that loop. Whichever you're used to is fine. I usually just tie a knot and then leave a little loop here at the end, depending on how many stitches I'm putting in there. And we're going to be putting 12 half double crochets in there. So we get our little hook in there. And we're going to pull yarn through and chain one just to secure that and then we're going to make 12 half double crochets so for a half double crochet you yarn over go through the loop yarn over come back through you got three stitches on your hook yarn over and go through all three stitches so we'll do that slowly one more time yarn over in through the loop yarn over come back through you've got three stitches on your hook yarn over and go through all three so there's two half double crochets and as i'm going i just like to usually go over my tail so it's not hanging out anywhere so let's do number three four Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and 12. So there you got your 12 half double crochets. And then you're going to go into this stitch right here where you chain one. And just, ah, what the heck? What the heck? Okay, I can't do this looking through the camera. And then you'll just slip stitch, chain one, and then you're going to do 12 more half double crochets. And your first one's going to start right here where you chained up. Now, if you're a more experienced crocheter and I'm going so slow, it's driving you insane. It's going to be nine rows of 12 half double crochets. So you can just Fast forward the video up to about the ninth row and meet me back there. So we got one, two, three, yeah, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now, when you get to your twelfth, you're going to notice that there's this little 
stitch right there. That's considered a false stitch and we are going to put our slip stitch up top into this chain one and half double crochet you made at the beginning of the row. So that's row two finished. So for row three, chain one, half double crochet in that same stitch and then go all around so you get all 12 stitches. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, Skip that false stitch and come up here to where you chain one and your first half double crochet. Slip stitch. So now you're starting row four, chain one, half double crochet into that same stitch. One, two, three, whoops, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oops, ten, eleven and twelve and come up to the top here put in your slip stitch chain one and now we're in number five one two three four Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Slip stitch up top in your first half double crochet. Chain one. Where are we here? Row seven. One, two, three, four, five. We're on row six. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Slip stitch up at the top of your first half double crochet. Chain one and 12 more half double crochets. I believe we're on row seven now. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Come up to here, slip stitch in the top of your first half double crochet, row seven. Now we're on row eight, chain one, and 12 half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Skip that fold stitch, chain one, and come up to the top of your half double crochet and now we are on row nine last row guys one two sorry my yarn is getting balled up here three four Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And we will slip stitch up top here like we have been for every other row. Now, if you're, this is where you're going to want to decide how long you make it. For my candy canes, this is the perfect size. If you've got the longer candy canes, you might do one or two more rows. I don't think it really makes much difference as far as looks. Okay, so if you're at your finished size here, you're going to stick your hook back in where you just slip stitched. And you're going to count five stitches around and go into the sixth stitch. Let's see if I can do this on camera here. Eh. So one, two, three, four, five. So there's your sixth stitch. So you want to go in that sixth stitch. Grab your yarn, bring it through, and give it a slip stitch. That just kind of makes your two little holes separate here. So that you can, your candy canes will stay nice and snug in there instead of moving around. Now you're going to chain 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And you can make this as long or as short as you want. I just picked pick 20 because it was a nice even number and seemed to be about the same height as my candy canes when they're in there. So then you're just, eh, my yarn is on the wrong side here. Come back. So then you're gonna just slip stitch right back in that same hole come through and then tie off and I like to do it a couple of times just to make sure that knot is nice and tight so one more time give it a good little squeeze and then cut it off And we're going to need our darning needle. And 
I'm going to want to find the back. So this is the front. See how the stitches are kind of more uniform and neat. And then if you flip it over, you can kind of see this line here. That's where all your chain ones were when you started each row. That is what I consider the back. So then you'll just stick this back inside and kind of come up through a few of these loops until you get to the bottom. It doesn't have to be too uh, tied in there. It's just probably just going to be hanging on a tree or somewhere. It's not going to be played with like a toy or something. candy canes and you'll stick them in each side here. Make sure that's the front. Whoopsie. And then I just hot glue my eyes on. I'm not going to do it on camera because I'm sure you all figure it out. Um, I usually put it just a little below the second row from the top and then the pom-pom about on the third row. Wherever you feel it looks good will be perfect. Oh, these guys are so freaking cute. Um, I guess I'm supposed to say to like, subscribe, comment. Um, let me know if you enjoyed this video. I'm sure there's lots of mistakes since it was my first one, but I hope you enjoy making these. You have a Merry Christmas and all the best to you guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.